What's up guys welcome back to gadgets portal this is a very special video on this Motorola Moto G 3rd generation 2015 model and though this device is running on stock android lollipop 5.1.1 there are lots of custom features that are quite handy and few system apps and options are also very very interesting. Today in this video I will be talking about some tips and tricks and what's the meaning of using a smartphone if you don't know the smart features. Hopefully this video will be very interesting and you will find it very helpful as before. Now to start with if you twist your wrist twice quickly you can launch the camera right away and this works anywhere anytime on the phone. This is the fastest way of launching the camera and in this way you can capture candid moments very easily. Twisting again will switch the cameras as well. This gesture works even when the phone is password locked. There is a dual LED flash at the back of the phone and just make a double karate chop motion to trigger the LEDs and in this way you can enable the torch on the go. So if there is a power cut in your hotel room or you are on a dark road then with a simple gesture like this you can enlight everything. It's as simple as that. Now even when the phone is locked with a password you can say ok google call batman calling batman work ok google remind me to call robin tomorrow at 8 pm for dinner when do you want to be reminded at 8 pm okay do you want to save this yes saving reminder to enable google now from any screen on the device including the lock screen you need to visit the google now settings it's not enabled by default just hit the voice and ok google detection and also enable this from any screen option you need to train your voice model from here as well for better detection and this voice input can unlock the phone as well. Let me show you. There is a feature called smart lock on this Moto G3 and with the smart lock you can unlock the device in different ways like with the front facing camera the phone can scan your face and unlock automatically. There are a couple of more features let me show you. First visit the settings menu. Then go to security. To enable smart lock you need to put a password first. Now the smart lock has been enabled. Confirm the unlock password. Now you get all the smart lock features. I already discussed about the trusted face feature. You need to first take a sample picture of you then just look at the camera and the phone will unlock automatically. How cool is that? Trusted voice that is the voice unlocking method uses Google now. There is on body detection that is you can keep the device unlocked while it's on you. For example if you are holding the device in your hand or carrying it in your pocket or handbag the device will remain unlocked. Next you have trusted devices and trusted places. In the trusted devices mode the phone remains unlocked when it's connected to your trusted devices which can be your bluetooth watch, your car's bluetooth system or an NFC sticker on the phone dock in your car. So your smart watch can keep your device unlocked. In the trusted places mode you can add your location like your home location or your office location and when your device is at any of these trusted places then the phone remains unlocked. So it's another very interesting feature you should check. Next I am going to demonstrate one of the new features of this Moto G3. When your device is resting on the table and you got a notification then once you pick it up there will be a white lined notification bubble along with the clock. It's called Moto Display. You can just get a preview of the notification just by tapping and holding and if you have got only one notification like a single message then you can read the whole message. Swiping up will open the application associated with the notification and you can ignore the message just by swiping right or swiping left. Swiping down unlocks the phone as you know. So without even unlocking the phone you can get an idea about your notifications with the help of this Moto display. But if you wish you can hide the sensitive content to show on the Moto display. Only the bubbles will show up. 
there is another display mode called ambient display which is also very interesting you can enable motor display from here and ambient display actually wakes up the screen with a list of all the notifications when you get a new notification now the interesting part is the brightness of the ambient display will be very low to save battery let me give you a demo of that I just received another message and the screen has lit up in grayscale with very low brightness. It's basically the lock screen without the wallpaper and color. So the ambient display is also a very nice feature. Tap any of these notifications twice to go to the notification. Interestingly, motor display does not work when the phone is in your pocket or face down or you are on a call. So there will be no accidental touch. Now you must have noticed I have added some info in the lock screen. You can put your emergency contact number if you are in danger or just lose the phone. As I mentioned before, you can hide your sensitive data to show up on the lock screen. Even you can disallow certain applications like the Gmail or the messaging app to show notifications at all. Let me show you how to do this. First of all, visit the settings menu and click on security. There you can put the owner info. If you lose the phone, someone might return it. So do this. This phone can be encrypted as well for security, that is you can encrypt your accounts, settings, downloaded apps and their data, media and other files. When your phone is locked with a password, your data remains encrypted, so this will prevent stealing of your personal data by any application. Now let me show you how to control the app notifications. Under sound and notification settings, you can hide your sensitive notification content or disallow any application to show notification at all. If you want to block specific applications to show notifications, you can click here and this is to prioritize the app in the priority interruption mode. I will talk about the interruption modes in a minute. This option is to tag the application as sensitive. So when you select to hide your sensitive content, notifications from this application will be hidden. Clicking the volume rocker brings the interruption modes. In the priority mode, you will get selective notifications from your allowed applications. For example, you can allow calls, messages or alarm and notifications from your priority applications. You can also put a timer for up to 8 hours. So before you go to sleep, just switch to this priority interruption mode. There is no interruption mode as well and you can put timer for this also for up to 8 hours and a minimum of 15 minutes. Let me show you how to customize the priority interruption mode. You can switch interruption profile from here and allow or disallow calls and messages. You cannot control alarms because alarms are always priority interruptions. You can also set the downtime for the interruption mode. So overall this interruption control is very handy but Motorola also included its own Motorola Assist or Moto Assist which I'll talk about in the second episode of this review series so keep in touch. Now I'm going to show you the easiest way to block applications from bothering you with unnecessary notifications. Just pull down the notification center and press and hold on a notification. Click on this icon here then you can just block from here. You can set the priority and sensitive modes as well. Well buddies, this is the end of the episode 1. Episode 2 is on the way. Check the channel or the description below for the link of episode 2 and it will be great if you subscribe to this channel. I am going to upload a lot more videos on this Moto G 2015 so keep in touch. Overall this is a decent device with good build quality and very fast interface. Though it's stock Android, you are getting some add-on features from Motorola like the Moto Assist, Motorola Migrate, etc. which I'll talk about in the second episode. To know more about this device and also to check the camera samples, you can check my webpage gadgetsportal.in slash camera hyphen samples. I have also uploaded the samples into my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgetsportal. Well that's all in this review, thanks a lot for watching, keep in touch and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.